Uh, we're working on a mobile app here, so I'm going to grab a, an iPhone control and uh, I'll start by adding a few buttons. Um, let's make this a new to do button. Um, so let's add a, a list here of the, uh, the to do items that we have so far. Do some customization. I'm going to use the template that's here um, for reference. So I'm copying and pasting some of these and uh, using this uh, kind of syntax here to um, do things like adding the arrows and the, the right aligned information. So um, add something and then look at the existing uh, template again and then um, you know kind of copy and paste from there. So starting to get a few different types of to-do list uh, or to-do items in there. Um, ones with checkboxes, different priorities, due dates, things like that. Um, let's go ahead and give it a name. Um, realize that we don't have to make it so big. Let's make this a little smaller. Um, that doesn't look too bad. So let's duplicate this and um, uh, let's see what happens if we add a couple of different types of categories um, for to-do list items. So I'm going to move this out of the way, shrink the title put an accordion, um, which is uh, which I'll use for the different types of categories. See how that looks, not too bad. Um, let's do kind of a material design style, um, uh, round button in the bottom, uh, not too bad. Create a new mock-up uh, so we can kind of work with this. Um, um, now let's uh, add a little hamburger menu because um, we're gonna wanna have some, maybe some options there. Um, Let's go with the big button at the top instead of that circular button for creating a new one. Add a little comment here and also a reminder what I was thinking um, at the time. So since, um, since we have categories, we wanna have a way to create new categories as well as new to-do items. So maybe you push the plus to create one, uh, hold it down for new category. Um, see how that sounds. Um, let's go ahead and try to um, make a make a pull out menu uh, for the hamburger uh, icon um, so when you tap that it slides over to the right so using the crop to uh, kind of crop that existing uh, to-do list with the categories move it over to the right add a little uh, rectangle for the um, um, for the pull out menu let's do uh, settings and my account maybe um, if you want to sync it up uh, just kind of brainstorming here move these a little farther apart We need to have a way to edit not just the to-do list, but the um, categories. So we need to have a way to do that. Uh, let's put that in the uh, little side menu as well. And notice I've created a new, another duplicate of the previous one, and I'll create another one um, to kind of keep branching my ideas as I go. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, let's go ahead and try to design, um, kind of redesign or design the, uh, the categories uh, configuration screen. So again, I'm going to use this uh, iPhone menu, kind of leverage some of the um, uh, some of the styles that are in there. Um, I'm looking for the uh, the one that allows me to reorder order things um, with that little equal sign and then delete. Um, so it doesn't look too bad for a, a, an edit categories um, menu screen. And then, uh, oh yeah, we need a, a way to add a new category add a little text input um, field here, show a keyboard to show that, um, you know, that's where you can add new categories. Kind of like that idea with the um, text uh, input on the top. Uh, let's see if we can do that here. Um, instead of just having the plus button, just have a little default um, placeholder line here. Um, so that's an alternative to that plus button design above it. Doesn't look too bad. Let's kind of separate it a little bit so that you don't need to do it per category. You just do it once. Um, and then we need to figure out how, what happens, uh, how you assign it to a category. So let's explore a few more different ideas here. So what if we have some uncategori uncate uncategorized items? Let's see how that feels. Um, Feels like maybe it'd be kind of a lot of work um, to then have to move them into categories. Um, maybe just going to give up on that idea. Um, 
So let's think about some ways that we can check off these items um, after we're done with them. Oh, here's an idea for um, adding new uh, to-do items and then assigning them to a different category. Um, let's use a little uh, drop-down list button um, so you can add one and then immediately assign it to a category, um, including unassigned. Let's see how that feels. Maybe let's add some space for, um, for some checkboxes to see what it might look like when they're checked off. Don't really like the look, the look of it with an icon. Let's just use a regular checkbox. See how that feels. Yeah, let's just make some empty space in the beginning and then use regular checkboxes. See how that feels. We'll have to do something about that priority because uh, that we're using that space for the checkboxes now. So let's try moving it over to the right and keeping the checkbox look. Yeah, that looks better, a little more consistent. Uh, use a little color uh, macro to indicate um, indicate the priority. It looks pretty good. Now let's go um, with this category drop-down menu on the side. And um, yeah, not too bad.